Hey, today we're going through the first of four different listing attraction systems so you can be totally dominant in your marketplace. Hey, welcome to the Tom Ferry Show. Super excited to share with you guys today a four-part series where I'm gonna walk you through 16, there we go, 16 different listing attraction strategies. We've shared 33 of them recently at the Success Summit, and here's what's great. I've identified four for this week, and I'll do four each week, giving you an opportunity to become more listing dominant. What do we know, right? It's cliche, we've all heard it before, but you gotta list to last. I would actually take it one step further and tell you that whoever is dominant at listing property is in control of the business, has control of their time, and more importantly, with the wide variety of marketing tactics I'm gonna share with you over the next four weeks, you're also gonna be able to say, I wanna to market to this price point or to this area or all these different sources giving you a plethora, yes, first time used on the Tom Ferry Show, of opportunity so you can win more business. Now, very quickly, if you go to TomFerry.com, if you're not already there, on my blog, you're gonna see all these different marketing samples, right? All the things that we're discussing, all the things I've got here on paper, you're gonna have access to, to download so you don't have to reinvent the wheel. And by the way, while you're there, I would strongly recommend you take the listing attraction test, which is a little PDF we have for you, where you can go through and say, here's the 12 different sources that Tom's clients are using around the world. How am I doing in each one of them? What are my goals? And then what are the actions I wanna take? You're gonna find it extremely valuable. So make sure you get back to tomferry.com and download all of that stuff. So let's begin with four. I've got two online, two offline, two old school, two new school to help you immediately start winning more listings. The first one is this. If you're living in the United States, over the last five years, we've had a 50% appreciation, 50% increase in home values on average over the last five years. So what should you do? You should go back and identify every one of your past clients and quite honestly, everyone in your sphere that owns a home. And what do we wanna do? We wanna like, like divide up the list. Let's just say it's you know 50. You don't wanna do 50 in one week because that would be overwhelming. That would be a project that would take you a ton of time. I'm actually thinking about two a day. You know, So over the course of X weeks, I'm gonna do two a day and here's the plan. You ready? We're gonna build for them a beautiful CMA to let them know the value of their home. That's the first part. You're gonna do it as if you were going on a listing presentation. So, you know, doll it up, make it fantastic, make it beautiful, show photos, show graphs, show them what's happened to home prices in their area over the last five years, two years, three years, whenever they bought the home. You're educating your customer on the good decision they made to buy that property. Now, in addition, as we're sending out those two pieces every day, we want to add a little note right here where it says, name, you've done really well. I'm curious, have you had any thoughts of trading up or trading down? Let's talk in the next week. And by adding that little yellow sticky note right on top of the CMA, it's better than just putting it in the mail and saying, here's the information, here's what's going on. You're letting them know, I'm thinking about you personally. I'm thinking about you personally. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna do that beautiful CMA, we're gonna add that little sticky note, and then we're gonna follow up. We're gonna make some phone calls. And when we make those phone calls, you know, it's a, hey, Sean, I was thinking about you. I, I was thinking about your house. I was, you know, so, so excited for the increase in value you've had over the last three years since you guys purchased the property. You guys excited about it? And you saw my note, have you guys any thoughts of selling, you know, trading up, trading down, and just engage them in that conversation. Now remember, because we've taught this script many times before on the Tom Ferry Show, when you ask that question, have you had any thoughts of selling? Pause, pause, right? Don't jump into it, don't say more, because home prices and this is what's going on in the market. Just shut up and listen. And by the way, when they go, uh, that means yes, right? That, oh, uh, well, like they're not sure if they wanna share it. If you get an emphatic no, you can always say, well, are you living in your dream home now? Well, no, we probably really need to do the backyard, we need to do this, and they're gonna share with you. You're engaging with a past client or someone in your sphere on something that is meaningful to them, the value of their home and the difference you've made for them. So that's campaign number one. Now I promise you, when you just start to send 
every person that you know who bought a house in the last five years an updated CMA, that personal note, you're following up with a phone call, you're engaging with the right questions. We're not expecting that every one of them is gonna say, hey, that's it, I wanna sell. But what do we know? People get divorced, kids move away to college, they get pregnant, they get job transfers, they get promotions. Things change all the time. You know and I know, every agent watching knows you sold somebody their dream house and eight months later they had to sell it. It happens, let's get ahead of the curve. So that's strategy number one. Strategy number two, and this went bananas during the summit, I just loved seeing everybody doing this on their Instagram. It's that Instagram hack I shared probably seven or eight months ago with you where you're actually gonna do on your Instagram story a couple polls. So here's the first one, it's gonna say, are you living in your dream home now? Yes or no? That little polling device on Instagram. And here's what's great. The vast majority of people are gonna go, no, 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 no. And a few will say yes. And then the next one shows up where it says, have you had any thoughts of selling in 2018 or 2019? Now again, yes, no. Obviously, you're gonna get a whole bunch of no's on the first one. You're gonna get a few no's on the next one. And what are those? Those are listing leads, my friends, for free on your Instagram. Now, this one's so good, you don't wanna do it like every month. You probably wanna do it maybe twice a year, right? Especially as you're growing your Instagram base. But here's the kicker. Once you get those yeses and nos, then you wanna send them all private DM, right, on Instagram. Hey, Sean, thanks so much. Hey, Mins, thanks so much, right? Acknowledging them, and if they said no, you can say, hey, do you wanna meet? Shall we have a conversation? Shall we engage? Shall we connect? We have clients that are getting listings every single day from this strategy, my friends. This one is a no-brainer, as in 100% no-brain required unless you're not on Instagram. Then you might need a brain, all right? So pay attention, it's 2018. This one, a little more advanced, right? I went old school, past client, sphere, easy, new school, right? Instagram, Instagram stories, polling, you're gonna have to find the poll, you might have to Google, you know, how do I do that, right? Like ask a 13 year old, they'll show you. This one is such a money maker, I'm almost nervous about sharing it with you. I watched so many people walk up to me. This was like the seventh point that I shared of 33 and people literally walk up to me at break like, if I just do that one, I'm going to kill it. So here's what it is. Non-owner occupied and investors. Non-owner occupied and investors. So what do we need to do? First thing is obvious. Contact your local title rep, right? That guy or gal that helps you is just absolutely amazing and say, I'm looking for every single person in my community that owns X number of properties, that owns X number of properties. Now you may say, I'm comfortable dealing with investors that own two properties, five properties. I said to the group, find the ones that own seven to 10 properties because they're really in the business, right? They own these houses, they're accustomed to rentals, they, they, they know the game. And if you're comfortable in that conversation and you do what I'm gonna ask you to do, you're gonna win. And all you need from this strategy is one or two and it's gonna be a bunch of transactions for you over the course of your career. So what do we wanna do? First, get with your title rep and say, show me every person that owns under LLCs, S Corp, C Corp, all the different ways that they're kinda, of, you know, identifying or hiding themselves or protecting themselves, I should say, from taxes, et cetera, right? In their corporations, how many properties they own, you're gonna identify all of them. You're gonna get a list of, I'd say, no more than 50. At the summit, I said 100 because I was being aggressive, but if you had 50 different families, that you could start marketing yourself to using the tactic I'm about to share, you're gonna win one and that's all you need. Ready? So you got your list of 50. Here's what I want you to do. One at a time, you're gonna say, okay, Jillian, I've identified her, she owns seven properties. I'm going to then create a CMA on all seven of the properties and bound them into a book. Now, if, I'm really wanna, if I really wanna win, if I really wanna bring value, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna identify on each one of those pages, you bought this property in 1991 for X. Today, in 2018, it's worth Y, congratulations. And I'm gonna hand write that on there. I'm gonna let people know, I'm doing my research. I'm bringing you value. I'm thinking about you, Mr. or Mrs. or family prospect. So I'm gonna create CMAs on each one, bound them all in a book, 
and then I'm going to send them this letter. Name, I notice you own several properties here in our area. Congratulations. I work with several families and investors, helping them with property acquisitions and trades. I'm sure you receive hundreds of these a month. Why do you think I'm going to say, I'm sure you receive hundreds of these a month? Because here's a hint. They don't. They're going to be saying to themselves, why don't I, I should be receiving these things. I'm a real estate investor. I own these properties. How come my agent isn't even sending me stuff? Very important. Hundreds of these a month. To show you I'm serious about creating value for my clients, I've included a CMA on each of your property's current values. Take a peek. Here's the hook. Ready? If there's a property that's under delivering, perhaps we can discuss alternatives. If there's a property you've already depreciated and there's no more tax advantage, if there's a property where it's already gone up as high as it's probably going to go based upon your understanding of the knowledge, if you've got underperforming assets, we should talk. It's so, I can't even believe I'm sharing this on the Tom Ferry Show. This is going to be so bananas because I'm going to get some like email from somebody totally random in like, you know, Kansas City who's going to go, dude, I did that and I got this one investor and I got like six properties. It's going to be that bananas. It's, good. it's all about execution but this is good stuff. All right, so back on that letter, right? Take a peek. If there's a property that's currently under delivering, perhaps we can discuss alternatives. I'll follow up with a call in the next few days. I look forward to connecting soon. Tom Ferry, Banana Real Estate, right? Now, do I want to send this in my brokerage envelope? What do you think? Probably want to send it like a Federal Express envelope, a U.S. mail envelope. You with me? So it's nondescript, doesn't look real estate oriented. It's got the book of all the properties inside there. You know, you've got beautiful photos. You've got a cover letter right here. I'm doing this research for you. If there's anything I can do to help, my friend, you're going to win. Now, what are you going to do afterwards? You're going to call, right? You're going to, you're going to call. If you can get access to an email, you're certainly going to send them an email. You know, be mindful, right? Like you're doing your research to find out who these people are and what, you know, what information you can get. But at the minimum, you got to make the phone calls and you got to call and you got to call and you have to call and then you have to call some more and then call seven more times and then call in the morning and then call during the midday and then call at night and then reverse it. And you want to do this until guess what? They finally, yeah, my wife and I've been looking at your package and we're thinking about, you know, our property over on, you know, Banana Street. And yeah, we actually are thinking about selling. Thanks so much. Let's meet. That's what's going to happen. Do your research. Identify what list you're most comfortable, the type of investor you're most comfortable going after, and attack. This one's really strong. Make sure you get to TomFerry.com. Download all the letters. Download all the stuff. Remember, 50 or 100 of these, you get one or two clients from it, and those one or two clients could be trading properties with you for the course of your career, and that's what this is about. All right, the last one. We're going to go into the future here. What do we know today? Facebook. Google, YouTube, on any given day, I think it's Google, YouTube first, then Facebook, those three are the three most trafficked sites on the planet. Think about what I just said there, right? Google, people, like, Google's a verb, right? It's, it's what we do now, like, you know, you're talking to Google, Google, find me this, Google, find me that, let me go research this, let me go find the information, and you know what's happening? The vast majority of people that are thinking about selling their home, buying their home, they're they're researching home values in Newport Beach, right? Or home values in Corona Del Mar, or home values in, you know, Bananaville, whatever their city is. And guess what? As they're doing those searches on Google, do you know that Google will give you access to who those people are? And you can then run ads on the second most popular site called YouTube. So I'm going to show you guys a video in a second, but I want you to imagine I'm looking, you know, homes for sale, thinking about selling, what's happening with prices in my zip code. And then like a week later after I did this, my wife says, oh my God, you've got to watch this video of Steven playing tennis. And I go onto YouTube and I go to the video and I hit go, but the first thing that happens is I see this commercial. Are you looking at homes for sale in Newport Beach, California? I'm Tom Ferry with Banana Real Estate. So far this year, we've helped 36 families buy and sell real estate. If you're looking to save time and save money, click the link below or contact us at 949-867-5309. Click the link below. So think about that. People will literally be, in, they'll, they'll be sitting there like on their phone going, how did they know? Click link, yes. This one's an advanced one. Gary Vaynerchuk and I actually talked about this in January at his event saying, 
this is the next evolution of doing ads where you're literally getting people on Google searching for one thing and then when they go to YouTube, that super popular site that now gets more traffic than all cable companies combined. Let me say that to you again, more traffic than all cable companies provided, like all of them together combined. That's how much traffic YouTube gets and now you're going to be running ads there to win sellers. So. Those are the first four of the 16 we're going to be sharing over the next few weeks with you. I can't wait to read your comments. Which one do you like? Which one do you already do? Which one are you going to do? Which one are you never going to tell any of your friends about because you want to do it before everybody else? So let me know and make sure you race back to TomFerry.com and download all the free goodies because that's where it's all out for you. So get there today. Thank you so much for watching. Remember always, your strategy matters, and now more than ever, your ability to list a large number of properties, that's what rules. Hey, I'm Tom Ferry, and I want to say welcome to real estate. Now, there's a pretty good chance no one's told you there's an 87% failure rate every five years in this business, and there's only two factors. Agents don't have the tools, and they don't take the right action. I'm going to invite you to click the link below and get access to the tools so you can win in this business.